I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new episode of Reinforce the Horse. Uh, today, I wanted to share a poem that came to me not long ago. It was only a couple days ago. Uh, this topic of sentient has been on my mind for a while, um, about half a decade now, as I have immersed myself in farming and homesteading and specifically working with horses. And uh, I've noticed a whole lot of um, shifts in my thinking around animals and just beings and nature. And I'd like to share this with you. But before I get there, I'd like to let you know about a recent guest that we just finished a recording with yesterday. So that would have been uh, May 9th, 2023. Uh, we finished a recording with um, somebody named Rachel Windchaser. And it was an amazing uh, discussion about just a lot of different things. Um, horses, of course, and uh, Spanish colonial uh, Mustangs um, in particular. And uh, she just shared a lot of insight about her rewilding process and, and how uh, she helps humans connect with horses and vice versa. And we are really excited about bringing her on the show. And so that should be finished up here within the next week or so. And it will go live. So I wanted to share this uh, poem. I guess you could call it sentient. Sentient, open to perception and feel, things tangible and those which are not. A beast so far from human form, yet so close to heart. An expression of loving kindness, simply being in their presence. What would it be like? Have you considered the magnitude of all that is? all And all that could be, if we would just love, unconditionally? We demand respect, often misunderstanding altogether. Going about our ways, spewing a wake of destruction in our path. Is it... As if Mother Earth does not care. She does. So much peace and tranquility is available, ripe for harvest, ready to give birth to new life. We have ignored that truth, caught up in a magnitude of things, as if we're wrapped in a web of our own inability to be sentient. Now, I don't know about you, but this whole idea of being sentient and understanding that we as humans have feelings and we often act upon our feelings uh, often in negative ways toward ourselves, uh, other human beings, and even other creatures. But if we expand that and know that not only are we sentient, but the other beings that we share this earth with are too. And that we all have responsibility in how things play out, uh, whether good or bad. We all share responsibility in, in that globally. Uh, I think it gives a different perspective on how we can just go about our day-to-day -day interactions in life, even at the very minuscule level of how we approach and interact with the people in our life and the, the other living beings in a way that just acknowledges their feelings and allows us to be in more harmony with the things around us. And for me personally, the more that I've kind of dove into that direction, the more comfortable I become as a human and the more comfortable I become as a being. And I thought maybe uh, it would be good to share that. And um, I hope you enjoyed it.
and let me know if you uh, have any questions or if you would like to be on the show. We are still uh, looking for new guests um, to share in discussion about life and horses. And I thank you for listening and wish you a great day.